Okay, today we're going to be looking at the next chapter. We're looking at uh, inventory cost flows. We're going to look at sales discounts, purchase discounts, returns, allowances, lots of different things. There's going to be quite a few videos. So you're going to want to watch all these videos probably several times. Um, but today we're going to be, this first video we're going to look at inventory cost flows. Just to make sure you understand how inventory comes in and goes out of businesses. Now the first thing we need to be aware of is that um, we've got beginning inventory usually. Okay, so if we're a manufacturing company, uh, we manufacture things and we have um, uh, inventories and then we make purchases during the year. So beginning inventory and purchases during the year. These two items together give us what we have available to sell. Okay, so for a merchandiser, this is what we have available to sell. So let's say that we had beginning inventory, uh, $10,000 worth of items. And then during uh, this time period, let's say we purchased 90,000 more. Now this would be 90,000 net of any discounts or any returns, okay? So what we have in total available to sell during this time period would be $100,000 worth of inventory, okay? So it's available to sell as inventory items. Now, we either sold it, or it would be cost of goods sold, or we still have it, and it would be ending inventory. Now, C-O-G-S stands for cost of goods sold. So let's say that in ending inventory, we have 5,000 inventory left. Well, if we had 100,000 available to sell, and we have 5,000 left, that means cost of goods sold must be 95,000. Okay, so you see, if I take any one of these numbers out but leave all the others, you could back into the other numbers, okay? So, once again, beginning inventory plus our net purchases gives us what we have available to sell. We either still have it, ending inventory, or it got sold. And when it's sold, it's cost of goods sold. Let's just point out here that ending inventory is an asset, and cost of goods sold is an expense, okay? This is an expense, so when we sell the item, this becomes an expense. So if we sold these items for, let's say, $200,000, then our sales would be 200,000, and then the expense associated with it is the cost of goods sold of 95,000, so then our profit would be, hopefully you can see this, 105,000, okay? Uh, good luck with this. Make sure you understand this uh, really well because you kind of need this for the next, uh, next videos. Good luck.